Freddie Davis here, president of Market Faith Ministries, coming to you once again from the library. Market Faith Ministries provides radical disciple training to help believers become more knowledgeable of and confident in their Christian faith. We are a lay seminary in a can. Today we're continuing our series on radical values that are found in the Bible. And today we're looking at value number five, intense self-denial. To get a handle on this, uh, we, we read a passage in Mark chapter 8, verses 34 through 38. Here Jesus is uh, being talked about, and here's what it says. Then he, Jesus, called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for a man to gain the whole world yet forfeit his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. Now, when thinking about this particular topic, we can be sure that we have to be careful about how we understand it. We've got to be careful not to misunderstand it. This is not about putting ourselves down. This is about uh, putting ourselves up. It's a positive, not a negative value. It's about putting God as the highest priority in our lives. It's about our willingness to elevate Him to a higher position than our own ego. When we do this, we put ourselves in a position to live in intimate relationship with Him, which, after all, is the very purpose of our existence. If you'd like to find out more about worldview, and particularly, as we've looked at today, things that relate to the Christian worldview, I'd like to invite you to check out the Market Faith Ministries website at www.marketfaith.org.